This chapter is going to help you enormously, especially when you start to read the explain plans. There's nothing worse than reading an explain plan and saying, well, I don't understand the first line, and I don't understand the second, third, and fourth, and fifth line, but come on, by then you go, listen, I don't understand how to read this. You're going to read these explain plans like nothing you've ever seen because I'm going to explain the locking better than anything you've ever seen. There are four major locks in Teradata. Read, write, exclusive, and access. Most of the locks are handled by Teradata in the background, and you'll see that. For example, in this query here, we're doing a select, all of our columns, from SQL class .employee table. Anytime you write the word select, Teradata is going to automatically put a read lock in the background. Once again, we got a select, but we've got a join here, joining three tables together. Teradata is going to put a read lock on all three tables automatically. You don't have to do anything. On any insert, update, or delete, Teradata is going to put a write lock on that table. As you can see here, we got an update statement, we've got an insert statement, and we've got a delete statement. You don't have to do anything. Teradata says put a write lock during the life of that transaction. When you write a statement that alters a table or modifies a database or user, Teradata puts an exclusive lock for you. Now, there are three levels that Teradata are going to put these locks on. At the best level, it's going to do a row hash lock, which you'll soon understand. It could decide to lock the entire table, and that's also a possibility. Or it could lock the database. Most often, you'll either see a row hash lock or a table lock. In this case, we said select everything from the student table where student ID is equal to this. Student ID is the primary index. So Teradata says, listen, we don't have to lock all the rows in the table here. Let's just find out where this row exists. They hash it. They know which AMP that's on. They only lock that row using a row hash lock. The rest of the table can be processed by anybody else. Here's an example of a query that's going to do a full table scan. We want all columns, no where clause. So what's going to happen? Teradata is going to lock the entire table with a read lock. Here we want to modify the database and we want to add some spool. It's going to lock the entire database. Nobody can do anything until this is completed. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out coughingdw.com for more information.